Well, you talked about the white boy Rick situation, mm-hmm. and me and Rick have talked. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 you know, I have his phone number. You know, we talked about doing an interview. He's a little leery of that. He is. Well, because he has a lawsuit. Yeah. He's suing. Yes. You know, the, the system over Darn being well put. should. He was put in prison for, what, 30 years? 33 or, years. I 33 think, yeah. years. So I think he's trying to wait until that's done mm-hmm. one way or another because he doesn't want an, the interview to affect his case. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm friendly with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, I know somebody that knows him really well is trying to connect us two for an interview. But I said, you know, I mean, he, no he, rush. Yeah, I mean, listen, he might do one with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe, no maybe rush. He'll, you know, but yeah. But you said something interesting. You said that FBI taught him to be a drug dealer. He did. Absolutely. He was a young kid. He was 16 years old. Yeah, in Detroit. Yeah, and I know how they, the FBI works. Hey, go do this, go do that, go this. They're telling them what to do, you know, how to set people up, how to get information. You know, in the drug business, 100% they taught him how to be a, you know, a real drug dealer. I mean, what they did with him was horrible. Right, because after going through all that whole process at 18, they basically took away the deal the and put him in jail yeah. for 33 years. Absolutely. Horrible what they did to him. Should be a lesson to everybody out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now he's out, but I mean, he's what, in his... 60s maybe yeah 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 it's crazy how do you recover from that you, you don't 